so the first one we have is a fair to yield to pedestrian so here we have perfect example of that see now we uh, we have a crosswalk here so I see this pedestrian here now if I don't stop for that pedestrian um, that's gonna be a critical error so let's say well this time you know the pedestrian was already on the street so it's obvious that I have to stop um, but sometimes let's say the pedestrian is too close to um, maybe pedestrian is right here they are waiting for you to stop and if you don't stop um, that's gonna be a critical error so pedestrian cyclist um, anyone uh, over here in the crosswalk they get the right of way the next critical error is same situation perfect example uh, you're stopping in the merge lane see this red car here um, this red car stops um, in the merge lane so now this yellow sign represents it's a merge lane that means you're getting a separate lane like you're getting a speed up lane you don't stop here it doesn't matter how much traffic you have coming from this side um, you're gonna go in the merge lane speed up and then you change lane if you stop here that means you're treating that as a stop sign it's not a stop sign okay it's a merge uh, you're getting a speed up lane you want to go in the speed up lane and then um, and then after that you can change lane so let's uh, let's because it's very important I see this people making this mistake all the time uh, so I'm just gonna show you another example um, just to so you're clear on this so here we uh, so here we have another example so I'm going to turn right here now I see this yellow sign I know it's a merge lane so I go in the merge lane I speed up and then I follow my lane change procedure I put the signal on shoulder check and then I move over to the uh, left side when it's safe to do so the next critical error is uh, your speed uh, your speed is too fast or too slow for the conditions so for example let's say you're taking your driving test uh, maybe in winter time the roads are icy but you're going too fast that means you're gonna lose control over your car so that's gonna be automatic fail or maybe there's construction going on uh, you know and you're not slowing down um, for the construction or maybe it's just a bad street a uh, lot of potholes and stuff like that so if you're not uh, adjusting your speed uh, according to the road conditions and weather conditions um, then it will be a critical error now going too slow a lot of people think that if, if they go too slow um, it's okay but in reality it's not because um, when you're going too slow you create interference with the traffic behind you and especially if you're going too slow in this merge lane here it's nearly impossible to change lane when you have uh, traffic in the next lane so in this situation it was empty so for me it's very easy to move over but sometimes there's gonna be a lot of traffic um, then you want to make sure your your speed is good you're going with the traffic flow and then you follow your lane change procedure uh, to switch lanes uh, safely the next uh, automatic fail is uh, you're going in the wrong lane so you always take your first lane first so here when I see this yellow sign I know I have to go in the merge lane now if I don't do that let's say instead of going in the merge lane if I go in the second lane right way a lot of people they do that because they see oh uh, the street is totally empty so they don't choose the merge lane they will just directly go in the second lane um, we see that people doing <coughs> people doing all the time in real life but uh, they are not supposed to do that and in driving tests if you do that that's going to be a critical error so you always go in your first lane first and after that you can switch lanes now sometimes uh, if there's construction going on or like for whatever reason if the merge lane is closed um, then you can go in the next lane but if the merge lane is open then you want to definitely go in the merge lane first and after that you can change lane when it's safe to do so now the next automatic fail is you are in the merge lane now you have to get out of this lane a um, lot of people especially uh, new drivers because they don't read signs okay they sometimes they already maybe they live in that area they are familiar with the intersection they know okay there is a uh, separate lane they are getting so they go in the merge lane but after that they don't change lane okay merge lane at some point it's gonna end 
if you don't get out of the merge lane let's say instead of changing lane if you start driving over shoulder now the merge lane ends here right now if i don't change lane and if i just keep driving over this shoulder here that's going to be a critical error the next uh, critical error is on uh, lane change if your lane change is not good so right now here i'm going to switch lanes and uh, if my lane change is not good if i'm changing lane when it's not safe um, then it will become critical error your examiner will grab your wheel or he, he will assist you um, and if your examiner is assisting at any point uh, at any time in your driving test um, that means you just got a automatic fail there because your examiner he should only give you a direction his job is to observe your driving uh, not to assist you if he is uh, he or she is assisting you in your driving that means it's not good for your driving test watch the video again take notes uh, practice on everything and i will see you again in the next video